All right, so today we're gonna talk about hoses, and I'm gonna tell you my experiences using the as seen on TV 100 foot pocket hose and the expert gardener 100 foot fiber jacket hose. Happy Sunday. It's Saturday for me and it is a bright bright day in my South Florida garden and today we are going to talk about my experiences with the 100 foot hose that I needed to get for the extension of my garden. All right we're going to start with the as seen for TV pocket hose and here you can see that this is as far as it goes before it is expanded and now once we turn the water on you can see how it slowly expands. It reminds me of uh, those little things that you used to use and play with on the sidewalks at Halloween, little black snakes that you light and then they'd expand <laughs> and shrivel. Uh, we did have one of these, I think, a year ago when they first came out, and uh, it did blow a hole, so uh, I was a little skeptical about trying it again. Now it reaches all the way to the fence. 100 foot hose. Pretty cool. So here's the pocket hose all emptied. And it will be going back into the package because after using it twice, it got a hole in it. I'm not going to spend 50 bucks on something to use twice. All right. Running, Ricky. All right, so my 100 foot expandable hose that you just saw ended up blowing a hole in it the second time I used it. So I took that back and I ended up getting this 100 foot fiber jack. So we're gonna give that one a try and see what happens. So I have been using my expert gardener hose now for about a month and I've been very happy with it. I just keep it in this bucket when I'm ready to use it. All right, so all I do, once I attach the thing is uh, in the bucket, I'm just going to go ahead and stretch it out to where I start watering my plants. stretch it out all the way here. One of the things uh, about that pocket hose was that it took it took a long time to expand its way all the way here. But this one that's kind of nice is I can just kind of drop it down there. And I'm just going to take the other end. And attach it to my hose that's right here or your hose spigot, whichever the case may be. And as quick as I turn the knob, the hose starts filling up. And by the time I got down here, I've got a nice steady stream ready to go. And uh, although that this, this hose fiber jacket here is a five eighths of an inch, and the pocket hose actually said it was three quarters of an inch, which would make it a little bit bigger. Um, I feel like I get a lot more, a lot more from this hose than I got from the other hose. Yeah. So that's it. Once I'm done watering all my plants. quickly and easily. I just took it back in my bucket. I'm trying to keep it straight as I'm putting it in there. I 
you know, you can buy the wheel them up carts. We've done that a lot, but we always seem to injure the lizards whenever we use those. So I don't like to use those. And they're very bulky. And honestly, they're just as hard to use. Sitting there trying to wind it up and keep the hose in the right spot. So I find this really doesn't take much longer. It keeps it out of the way. Probably water my garden once every other day when it's not the rainy season. So, yeah. Good to go. Back to normal. Back in the shed. Right, and I'm also going to go ahead and talk about uh, what happened this week in my garden. It was basically a repeat of last week. I uh, staked some more tomato plants, I planted some more seeds, and uh, lost some more tomatoes to another critter. Let's just take a quick look. The tomato wall is very green and very healthy. I have gotten about halfway through staking, so we will continue to work on that this week. Uh, I did make use of the buckets and in this bucket yesterday I planted uh, carrots and um, you'll see a few of them here. These were those seedlings that I had started but I didn't do very well with the seedlings so we just sowed the seeds right on into the pot. We're going to see how that works and I sort of did the same thing here with the broccoli. There's one of the seedlings that I had started but out of all those that I had tried very few work. So again, we sowed them right into the seed. The strawberry plant is looking very lovely. So I can't wait to see if that produces some strawberries. I did take a moment this week and I did finally start to trim the lemon ball. So I'm going through and I'm taking the tops and you can see how this top part here is a little bit <clears throat> rougher and lighter in color than it used to be and then down here I have all these fresh green leaves. So what I'm doing is I'm going through and cutting the pot to right below where the last of the big leaves are. And hopefully that'll allow some of this green undergrowth to uh, repopulate. Uh, I will need to come back and, uh, and do it one more time but I could only dry so much at one time my carrots. Here are the lettuce seeds that I started last week, so I'm excited about that. I definitely got some seedlings propping up. Something has come and eaten all of my spinach. Peas are getting taller. I think we are almost done with the vertical garden. And again, here is the other pot that I planted the lettuce in. Here is the lettuce that I harvest now. The tomatoes are doing very strong in this pot. Pepper plants. The flowers are still falling off, so I'm not quite sure that I'll get any fruit out of that. And this was my Roma tomato plant, which is completely empty of tomatoes because somebody came and snatched them all up. And it looks like this was my original sweet tomato cherry plant. Yeah, yeah. so that's going to be about it for my garden update, quick and simple this week. Uh, we did a lot of prepping this week, finished getting all of our supplies, so now we're hunkered down for the next couple weeks. So hopefully I'll have some time to get some stuff done in my garden. If you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe down below and think about following me and watching my garden grow. If you're a regular here at Watching My Garden Grow, thank you very much for coming back. We'll see you next week. So we just dumped our food bowl out back. We put all of our scraps in a bowl and then we dump it out back for the squirrels and the birds and the rats. It keeps them occupied and out of my garden most of the time. We live on the back of a canal so we'll have those things no matter what anyway. He's sneaking up on it. It's gonna move.
Oh, here comes another squirrel. I apologize for the I'm shooting through my screen. Now I give you that food to stay out of my buckets, so stay out of my buckets. <laughs> 